uh, you know how lumbar puncture is done so you want to know few important point related with that okay let me tell you lumbar puncture what really happens that patient is lying on a couch is that right i don't know how to make a patient okay you just trust me this is a patient right the knees are you know really bent and i will not make due to legal reasons i will not make the rest of it now uh, what is there that yeah you understand what i'm making iliac crest that's good what is it there's something called sacrum okay uh here are actually patient is lying in which position now left lateral position and line which joins the iliac crest right hypothetically the line which joins the iliac crest right you have to keep that in mind and here are your what are these vertebras is that right the line which joins the iliac crest that is at l4 right with the finger you palpate the interspinous area because every vertebra has spine so, so you have to find a interspinous area and if l4 is just under it either you will puncture above uh, phallic to the l4 or caudal to the l4 l4 mean lumbar vertebra fourth is that clear murtaza so what you have to do get somehow the patient on the left lateral position and then you have to identify this point and this is the real site where you will do the lumbar puncture right but they are very important point before you really do it because no one is very happy to about it or enthusiastic to get it right so if it is really needed you have to get consent of the patient you have to explain the procedure to the patient is that right and you have to take the consent and very important thing you have to tell the patient that during the procedure he can communicate to you if he really want to say something is that right then and you have to tell the patient that uh, this procedure will be done properly only with his cooperation because we have to get the patient into this position then knees should be folded with the chin right advantage of and then once you identify this point of course you mark that and clean that with antiseptic is that right and then you will take the needle and you will push needle towards the towards the umbilicus not up to the umbilicus please it's a very small needle right it's a, you should not laugh like me i'm laughing because all of you are laughing and i'd like to exchange the smile otherwise this is not the moment to laugh right what really happens that you have to point your needle towards the imaginary line towards the umbilicus of the patient umbilicus of the patient right so the, as needle will be going in it will pierce pass through or pierce certain structures eventually it reaches to subarachnoid space and then csf come out now what do you think which structures will be pierced this is a very important question yes structure number 1 please tell me skin right <laughs> and then when you're passing the needle usually patient has a skin there is that right so skin and of course subcutaneous yeah fascia then then there are ligaments you know there are spine and spines are held together by ligaments right then ligaments will be which ligaments yes supraspinous ligament spinous ligament then there are interspinous should i make really a diagram proper so you understand how these ligaments are there uh okay this is vertebral body this is a spine this is the vertebra here is the spinal cord is that right and around it there must be pia mater here just immediate around the spinal cord right then there is what is this subarachnoid so arachnoid mater 
and then outside what is this here yes please dura matter is that right and of course if this is vertebra here there must be another vertebra at the top of it and your needle is coming from this direction back to the front this is anterior side and this is posterior side am i clear so there are ligaments from here from spine going to the next spine and this ligament is called supraspinous ligament then another group of ligament here this is called interspinous ligament then still another ligament very close just entering before this is called ligamentum flavum so how many ligaments you are crossing this is your first ligament what is this one supra spinous then this crosses this ligament what is this ligament interspinous then it has to cross another ligament what is this one ligamentum flavum so supra spinous is crossed then enter spinous ligament is crossed then yes ligamentum it's a beautiful name flavum yeah you don't understand something da it is somewhat yellow color cartilage type ligamentum flavum it doesn't have any type of good flavor right once you have gone through the ligaments right then where you will reach you will be just outside the dura mater and the space outside the dura mater is epidural space epidural space remember epidural space in the cranial cavity is only potential space but in vertebral column epidural space is really there and it has some fat loose reliable tissue some lymphatics and some veins is that right it's really there are you understanding or i should make this diagram more clear is clear that's good so epidural space and of course after that what you will pairs thank god you know after that dura mater should be there very good high iq again from mr abdul then of course again any other person with high iq after the dura mater they should be oh my god subdural space i don't know your iq your iq is too much fluctuating my friend <laughs> right after the dura mater there should be sub dural space and don't try to run that shuttle in space it is not as that space which we talk about other things it's a very small area so dura mater subdural space and of course after that what will come arachnoid mater arachnoid mater and after that yes now as soon as you pierce the arachnoid mater you enter into sub arachnoid space of course which is having c s f and then after that what you you will pierce after that you should not pierce anything pia mater is not pierced because if you touch the pia mater it means you are going to damage the spinal cord because pia mater is always in very intimate relationship closely uh, plastered over the central nervous system or attached with the central nervous system so pia is not pierced so actually when you are pushing your needle initially you feel the resistance of the ligaments then you feel another resistance of dura mater after that you are in subarachnoid space then what you do from the needle you remove stilet and drops of csf will start coming out and if you apply attach the manometer with that you will know what is the pressure and then you will take the sample of csf in different bottles of course sterile and clean is it right for chemical analysis and other purposes then what you do you remove the needle of course and apply the bandage there and traditionally they say patient should remain lying for one hour flat is that right am i clear to everyone so this is how you sample csf any question up to this i don't know all of you are very interested in lumbar puncture are you sadistic people or what it's something painful for the patient or unpleasant for the patient and from pain i remember you must give you must give what you give for pain local anesthetic before the procedure is that right am i clear okay